Jennifer Lopez's inspirational bootay performance at We Day. Oh no, is Tyler Posey a single man? And will Taylor Swift be framed for murder? What? All of these stories and more right now on DHR. All right, friends, welcome back to The Daily Hollywood Rundown. Ooh. Dana Ward is joining me today. So hey happy to have you. Thanks for hanging. Um, I'm so happy to oh, be here. And I know it. you were asking it. for a five there. I was in my soul. Aaron Robinson, I know that you have a really interesting story up first for today's top story. Every single day of my life, I'm becoming a bigger and bigger fangirl of Taylor Swift. Well, you are not alone. She has my heart. Oh my gosh. She's so adorable. And she's on the Ellen Show. So we have a couple of teasers that Ellen put up today of her interview. And they're so good. First of all, she reveals some of her biggest fears. Her first fear is a fear of sea urchins. She calls them grenades of the sea. Like they you are. Can innocently be walking in the ocean and step on one of these Have things. Have you seen those things? There are they needles are terrifying out of them. looking. So Taylor thinks if you step on one of these things, you're going to lose your foot, so she's terrified. I hope not. But the best part of this interview came when she revealed the fact that she thinks someone's going to frame her for murder. I'm scared of getting framed. <laughs> You, oh, so many people would frame me. <laughs> I, I think it comes from the fact that like, I could open up my phone, I could look at my phone and, and see any headline written about me at any time and it could be like the most ridiculously untrue thing. I love her. <laughs> you know, I've never thought about it, but I think if I were a big celebrity, I would totally be afraid of that too. You should be. People are out to get you, especially when you have a lot of money, which Taylor Swift clearly does. Uh huh. They gotta be careful, girl. People are so litigious out there. Also, mm. in other Taylor news, we saw some promos of Taylor on The Voice. You know, she's gonna mm -hmm. be a mentor. She's revealing one of Adam Levine's biggest, like, pet peeves. Oh. Like, Adam Levine's weakness is musical theater songs. <laughs> That way. Yeah, you just go, 525,600. You have to do theater voice. Uh huh. He just, he's like, ah! And yeah, and he, he can't even run away. He's so weak. Wow. Yeah. So who thought, who would have thought that Adam Levine was afraid of musical theater? I don't know, but I would like to see him take on some. It's Halloween coming up. So it's already TBT time, and this time it's really super sad TBT news. I know, you guys. So one of our favorite couples out there, Teen Wolf star Tyler Posey and his longtime girlfriend turned fiance as of summer 2013. They have called off their engagement. Ugh. And Tyler just made the big revelation yesterday in an interview with Us Weekly. He's still trying to wrap his head around what happened and what's going down. He actually said this. You're the first interview. I've said this too. We have broken up. I'm just gonna get it out there because I get sad talking about it. I'm just gonna get it out there now so hopefully people start hearing about it. And obviously Tyler doesn't wanna talk about this anymore so I think he's kinda just like setting the record straight. This is what happened. And I think he's asking for all of us to not ask him any more questions about it. Well, but, that's impossible. I mean, we love him. We love them together. They've been together since middle school. This sounds like she broke up with him. I don't know. You know, they want to they wanna probably keep it quiet, but I think we should look at this photo of when they were in love for TBT. Okay, let's look back at, at the better times yes, of the relationship. From the, from the Alma Awards in 2012, this is them looking lovey and devy and fabulous and friendly and flirty. They're definitely in love. Yeah. Hopefully they'll get back to those days because everyone deserves love, but if they don't want to be together, they don't have to be. That's okay. Ooh, I am excited for this next story because yeah. it involves JLo and We Day, which is one of my favorite events and every booties, year. And booties. And booties. And okay. booties. But that just goes without saying. <laughs> so We Day is happening in Canada or just happened yesterday in Vancouver. And we know that Orlando Bloom and Selena Gomez were there. Ooh. A ton of other stars were there too. Uh, Nick Jonas was there. Debbie Ryan, Shawn Mendes, Macklemore, and Ryan Lewis. I love and there are all these people. All, all of them there to be supportive of a group of about 20,000 people who are trying to do better and do good for the world. It's this big motivation inspirational event and uh, I am so excited to show you this surprise because JLo shocked everyone surprised Ooh. the crowd came out 
and performed Booty! Booty! It's his birthday, give him what he asked for. Let me show you how to do it. Was that what you needed to get inspired? Oh, yes. I am ready for the weekend now. You are? Thank you, Wee Day. Thank you, J-Lo. Thank you, J-Lo's Boutte as well. <laughs> so, J-Lo closed out the show, and we saw some of Selena saying goodbye to the audience, and she looked so happy to be there. Her outfit was adorable. She was in this little hot pink number. Mm -hmm. And um, a, a speech that she gave actually just surfaced, and it was so inspirational and so motivational. Take a listen. You are not defined by an Instagram photo, by a like, by a comment. And what I want you guys to do, every rude comment you get, every person that tries to hurt you personally or through the internet, I want you to forgive them. Just forgive them, because they don't even know. They have no idea. When it's over, nothing defines you but what you leave behind and what lives you touch on the way. Like my friend Taylor says, the haters are gonna hate. Just shake it off. So just do you. And I think Selena really connects with this cause and yeah. with the audience at this particular event. Because last year, if you remember, she gave a really inspirational speech to the crowd as well. Emotional. And she actually teared up. Yeah. So you could just tell she's really into this and really passionate about this cause. And I love that she ended it with, like my friend Taylor says, the haters gonna hate, shake it off. Yeah. Speaking of booties, Miss Iggy Azalea is modeling and she looks fabulous. Oh yes, this is the first look at the Forever 21 holiday shoot and holiday campaign featuring not only Iggy Azalea, but also her boyfriend Nick Young and these oh two are posing gosh. together. They look fabulous, fierce, flawless. I love all of the styles, by the way. It yeah. kind of makes me want to like walk on over to Forever 21 and buy a bunch of their holiday gear up. Oh, yeah. Um, but actually, we got to hear from the couple about what they thought it was like modeling together and modeling individually as well. Nick Young actually said this. It was real cool. We had great chemistry. That's of what he course. told People Magazine. Obviously. And then Iggy responded and she was like, as the hours rolled by, I think Nick started to realize photo shoots are hard work too. It was funny watching him have that revelation. It is hard work. It really is. I don't know what I'm doing when we've done a few here. Yeah, it's really, you're smiling all the time. It hurts your face. And it's you're hard. in high heels oh. all day. There's bright lights. You're Struggle. hot and sweaty. But I mean, and look at these awesome photos that the two have. And I also want to flash back to when they did their GQ shoot oh, together. Yeah. Again, they look amazing. They're so in love. They're adorable. I hope this is just the start of many modeling shoots together for Iggy and Nick. And I hope these dresses and these outfits are affordable and beautiful when I go hunt them down in person. I'm going to walk on over like I said earlier. Okay, we're going to wrap this up, friends. But before you leave, we want to hear from you, the experts, the people we love in our life the most. Clever well, you're like number two or three in line on my list. Um, first oh. question, what are your biggest fears? We know what Taylor's are. I like to hear that. Definitely. I know what your biggest fear is. Um, A starfish. Belly button. Yeah, fish yeah. sort of thing. Fish. Yep. Fishes. Um, heights may be over here, but I'm not sure. And we want to know, do you think Tyler and his longtime girlfriend who just Aww. broke up, Shauna, Gorlick, will they get back together? Or do you think this is quit for them. I hope they get back together. You guys so let too. us know in the comments. Dana Ward, Aaron Robinson holding it down on the Daily Hollywood Rundown and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for hanging with us on this TBT edition of the Daily Hollywood Rundown. Now for more celebrity news because you know you want it. I Click want on it. that video box right there to see yesterday's show and do Dana and I a favor and subscribe to our channel. Oh, I'm going to watch yesterday's show right now.